suffering come the time when it becomes intolerable will not trap me. Her entire life, Julia Lamb has fought the pain that comes with spinal muscular atrophy, a degenerative disease. But for nearly four years, she's also been fighting another grueling battle, the right to an assisted death. The 28-year-old is now claiming victory. To know that that suffering has an end um, and that you don't have to endure if you can't no longer, it's, it is indescribable. It's like a peace that just washes over you. The BC Civil Liberties Association announced Wednesday it has put on hold its lawsuit against the Canadian government after Lamb was informed she now qualifies for assisted dying whenever she makes the request. This is an enormous victory for Julia and for many Canadians like her who might find themselves suffering unbearably with no end in sight. The lawsuit was filed in 2016, challenging the law restricting assisted dying to Canadians whose natural death was, quote, reasonably foreseeable. Doctors say that led to many patients refusing care just so they could meet that requirement. But now the government expert has provided clarity, saying patients who would die without medical intervention also qualify. Clinicians are acting responsibly when not requiring applicants like Ms. Lamb to actually stop their ventilatory support or manifest pneumonia or develop bed sores in order to determine that death is foreseeable. That would be cruel. What this means is that the law will not flatly exclude people who suffer terribly with no end in sight. For example, people with MS, with Parkinson's disease. Lamb says she has no timeline for when she will make a request for an assisted death, but says she looks forward to living a full life until then. I will be able to have choice in how much suffering to endure. I will be able to choose dignity and compassion. While the lawsuit has been adjourned, the BC Civil Liberties Association says it will reinstate it if other Canadians approach them saying they're being denied an assisted death for the same reasons Lamb had been. In Vancouver, Isabel Regem, City News.